Test one, two. <coughs> Sing it. Comics Zone is a beat-em-up developed by Sega's former American development studio, Sega Technical Institute. It was also released very late in the Sega Genesis life cycle, in the fall of 1995. As the title would suggest, Comics Zone revolves around comic books. The main protagonist, Sketch, is an artist creating a new book when lightning strikes and our hero is now in the comic book and the villain from the book is now in the real world. The story then has our hero fighting his comic book in order to restore order to the world. The style and presentation of Comic Zone really blows me away. You immediately feel like you are playing a comic book. The borders of each panel are distinct, the colors are bold, and everything has plenty of detail. As you make your way through each level, you'll notice you're traversing just a single page, from the upper left to the lower right. On top of that, everyone uses speech bubbles to talk, and most panels feature different locations. Even cooler still, the main villain, who is now in the real world, can be seen drawing enemies that are then sent to attack you. And of course, action words like thwack and pow appear on the screen when you land hits on enemies. It's fantastic stuff. Sketch himself features plenty of frames of animation, and at times appears to be ripped straight from a Neo Geo game. The enemies also look pretty good, but they don't quite have the same level of polish. Rounding out the technical aspects of the game is the soundtrack. It's distinctly American for sure, and the quality of the music samples can't match that of the Japanese developers of the time. Despite featuring plenty of that twangy Genesis sound I don't usually like, it actually works here. Comic Zone's soundtrack is very grungy, with plenty of guitar riffs that really capture the mood of the game. The gameplay lives up to the excellent presentation. Sketch controls fairly well, the attacks are responsive, and jumping has the perfect amount of float to it. Both Sketch and the enemies also do quite a bit of blocking, and you have to mix things up to efficiently land hits. A couple of the bosses are made significantly easier if you incorporate blocking into your strategy. There are also items that you can collect and use. You can have up to three, and they are logically mapped to the X, Y, and Z buttons of a six-button Genesis controller. Sometimes these items are simply helpful, like health power-ups and a special superhero attack. Other times they are critical for progression. Your pet rat, Roadkill, is used in nearly every level. He can attack enemies, but more importantly, he can activate switches that are out of reach. It's a great little touch, and watching the little rat do its thing is rather enjoyable. Comics Zone isn't quite perfect, however. Because you are often limited to just a single comic panel, things can occasionally feel cramped, and it can be hard to dodge enemies, especially if there are a few on the screen at once. Another oddity is that you take damage when you punch boulders and boxes. These are sometimes required for progression, so you can end up in situations where you are forced to die, because you lack the health needed to progress. Comics Zone isn't a hard game, but it's made more difficult than necessary due to the lack of lives and continues. You start with no extra lives. You can earn them, but not many, and as far as I can tell, it's not clear how many you even have. The lack of continues means that outside the use of cheat codes, death means starting the game all over. I'm not sure if this is just an oversight or designed to hide the short length of the game. Comics Zone is just 6 pages long, and can be completed in under 30 minutes once you master it. Still, even with just 6 pages, there is such a huge amount of variety here that it doesn't bother me. It fits the structure of a mid-90s arcade game perfectly. It's meant for repeat playthroughs, not just one and done. <laughs> Above all else, Comic Zone is just plain fun. Everything about it is loud and over the top, and it's a treat to see what's lurking in the next panel. I died a lot playing this game, but I didn't really care. 
You make it a little farther every time, and it captures everything great about retro gaming. Comic Zone is an awesome little title for the Sega Genesis, with an awesome presentation, responsive controls, a great grungy soundtrack, and vivid visuals. It has a few minor issues, but nothing that keeps the game from being an immensely satisfying experience. 4 out of 5.